Hi, it's Jill with Crickflix. I'm going to be working on a few projects today. I've been running into some major problems uploading um, with the videos I'm taking on my phone. I have no idea why. It takes forever. I did one couple the other day and I was only able to get one done. So I'll do the best I can um, because I do think that when they finally do go through the lighting, everything is so much better that I, I prefer using my camera. So I'm going to figure it out. I am determined. I may end up having to go to call Apple or, or something and find out why it is, you know, because they're like 20 minutes long, but the only other option is to shorten them. I don't think it's going to make any difference. It, I just, I need to figure it out. So after I babbled there, um, these are all 15 inch of the Divine Digital Diva images. And a lot of folks ask me about these images. Divine Digital Diva is Etsy. It's at the end of my video. It's got the website or, or her shop in Etsy. Um, and if you need a specific one, oh, she's got thousands in there. I buy as many, many as I can because I absolutely love them. However, uh, that is where they come from. Somebody one asked me the other day to start a video from the very, very beginning, uh, all the way from designing the image to printing the image. There's my printer. Cutting it out. And then, guys, that's just not going to happen. I, I don't have the time for that. I've done it back when I first started. I would say going back two, maybe three years. I don't know. Time goes so fast. Anyway, I've done them all in, se in segments. Um, but... If you're a crafty person to begin with and want to do this yourself, you should be able to figure it out by watching my film. I use the Cameo Silhouette. Anything of importance is at the end of my uh, of my film. It tells you where I got my printer, or my printer website that I use, my stickles, my U-line for my boxes and my gun, and my paper. Other other than that, um, I just I don't have the time, and I'm doing the best I can to keep up with doing the videos that folks have asked me to please continue as long as I can and that is my plan and I'm not doing from start to beginning like I said if you're a crafter you don't need all that instruction if you're not a crafter if you get the instructions it's too much information and you're not going to go out there I would not recommend anybody anybody I don't care who you are if you are not a crafter and you do not have that desire in your blood, do not try and do this. Um, in the beginning, it was very, 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 very difficult for me uh, to learn all the tricks of the trade. I keep learning now and I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, uh, there's a lot of things that I'm adding on and I'm, I'm simply not going to get into detail and show how I do everything because I really would like... Rather than replicate what I'm doing and opening an Etsy shop, which puts you in direct competition with me, um, you take the time to figure out some of your own designs or ad additions or any boxes, anything. I, I, I see, and I guess I give the information for a reason, but um, I don't expect that, that looking at mine and looking at somebody else's is... You know, uh, going to be the exact same thing all the way to the picture. So I'm just not going to do it, guys. I've got other woodworking projects in the makes that we're going to be doing furniture, and I will continue to do these. I will never stop. So those of you that are getting the panic mode that, oh, I don't want you to stop filming or stop doing this. I'm not going to. I have no intentions of stopping to do it, stop doing it. But some of the things, like I said, if you're a crafter, you'll know what to do. And I don't mind to tell you a few places that I get the stuff, but if you're not crafter, my taking the time to show you from beginning to end, it's going to overwhelm you. And again, if you really have that much of a desire to do this, you would figure it out. Because I think that's human nature. When there's something we really want to do because we really have an interest in it, whatever it is, we will find a way to learn. And um, I spent, I think I've had my YouTube channel maybe eight years seven eight years and I started about a year or two before that uh, my my Etsy shop and I have learned along the way 
using my own imagination. I didn't go in and do somebody else's work. If I get an image and it's not mine, I give credit where credit due. Um, I did all my research. So those of you ask me questions of um, legal issues and how do I do this, that, and the other thing. I did my footwork and I'm not sharing everything. Um, there's a way for everything uh, that that I'd already done. Like I said, massive footwork, letter writing, calls. I did a lot. And, you know, I'm just not going to do it again. I don't have the time. So, I'm sorry. I'm not doing that to be mean either, guys. I just, I don't have the time. You know, I just got a new granddaughter and... Uh, and grandson on the way and the other 10 I already had and they take up a lot of my time and when I'm not with them I'm pretty much always with one of my kids that's pretty much the case a video that I was going to upload yesterday and I decided against it because I was asking people's opinions who have ever been through divorce and the placement issue but it would have to be with the statutes of Wisconsin um, my daughter um, when she got a divorce the placement was decided and they went to mediation and they were able to come to an agreement of what what it would be however um, he has since filed a motion to have it changed so uh, reading all the statutes and everything online it's not an easy task uh, to do it all my niece happens to be a family uh, attorney, and her specialty is a guardian ad litem. So she works with children, and she's she is representing my daughter, and um, she will put up the biggest fight. She actually got a law changed here uh, last year, two years ago. She hit the news for getting a law change. This is how determined she is. Um, she is a, uh, she's married to a woman and they have two children and um, my, my niece is a, is a, uh, an attorney helping children and my, her, her, her wife is a, a private detective and so both of them's hearts in the right place about people, you know, and, and they see a lot. And um, certainly they've been an awesome resource. But when the babies were born, uh, my niece is, the, is the, nat the natural mother. She carried both of the kids. I got a boy and a girl. Um, they did. They're, they're, and, and they both had the same father. The donator is the same dad. But when they had the children, when the, the babies were born, they wouldn't allow her wife's name on the birth certificate. Uh, because it said husband or father it said father on there I can't remember exactly what it was and this big big thing went on here in Madison and my my um, niece was absolutely persistent and I and I understand her insistence you know that 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 is just absurd to not put both of them on the birth certificate meaning one of them is less of a parent than the other but anyway she got the law changed and I remember when I was all over the news and 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 um I'm really happy that she took it upon herself to say she didn't even wait for my daughter to ask. She called. She told. She, they called me and said it, Chelsea's representing her. There's no questions asked. And um, I was really happy. My daughter said, "Well, she's just getting back to work after having the other baby. Was she a little concerned about her not being real active in it?" And I said, it "Doesn't matter if she is or not. Yeah, the woman will do her homework, and she has other associates in the law firm that." Uh, well, anyway, she's representing her because um, the big issue is, is that my daughter, after having the babies, when they were one and two is when we found out that he had other interests. And so he would always say he was going out of town for business and then he'd FaceTime the kids and the same background all the time. It was a very, very obvious background. Anyway, I'm going to tell you about all the, how we found all this out, but after that time, my, my daughter um, filed for divorce. And then when they went in for the placement, my ex-son-in-law traveled a lot uh, for, it was in sales. And he 
didn't. Well, anyway, they ended up where she had pri primary placement because she's a stay-at-home mom and um, has been with them since birth and whatever, so she got primary placement. Well, he since then has changed jobs, which really isn't relevant when you read the statutes. And he also is getting married now, which isn't relevant because they don't care if you're getting married or not. My daughter's been married. Um, but he had said that because she had a child and now she has another child, is pregnant again, going to have six children in one household, he was concerned about their, his children getting enough sleep because he said six children in a three-bedroom home. Um, well, number one, I don't think any of that's relevant because could you imagine a judge telling you you couldn't have that many kids because they weren't getting enough sleep? But they tell you what you can change placement for. And the only reason I'm getting into this, I want to know if anybody has been through something like this. Um, on either side, you know, um, I believe he, it's driven by the woman he's marrying because he refuses and what made sure of it, he's not having more children. And he did that the minute my daughter filed for divorce because I said, I'm sure he wanted to make sure that she knew or he wasn't going to be talked into having more more kids because he, he didn't want he told him in in, in um, when they were going to counseling he didn't she forced him into it he wasn't ready for having kids so now all of a sudden he's engaged it's the same woman that he was with but but he can't have children so she really really I believe is driving this and um, I think that that's the reason but his it, I guess what I'm asking is anybody's had an experience like this because it's really, really hard because it's supposed to be in the best interest of the children. Well, it's been three and a half years now in, in the little boy still to this day after three and a half years still has a fit when he has to go with him because um, he lives in an apartment downtown and the kids can't go outside and play and can't go out and ride the bikes. And it isn't anything against the father because they love their dad. It's their dad. But it's just the situation. He wants to live in a high rise because that's where the doctors and lawyers live. And so that's where he wants to live. Although he's not the above, he's a sales rep. But so now he's he's buying a condo again downtown. Um, he was renting. Now they're buying one. They're, they're getting married and buying this condo. Well, my grandson particularly has a really hard time with it. He cries. Um, he went to get picked up the other day and he was just kicking and screaming because family was over, we get together. Anybody that follows me and watches me knows my family gets together. Somebody in the family, somebody in the family, whether it be my sons, my daughters, whatever, every day of the week, every day. This morning, my son was here. Now my husband's over at my daughter's. I'm gonna have, to, we're going out with my grandson and my son and daughter-in-law tonight. We see them every day. And when my daughter has her kids, she has they get to be with all their cousins. Now, they have no relatives here. His family isn't here, and I don't know what's, what the deal is on hers, but there isn't anybody. And, you know, the kids really like that. They miss their baby brother when they're away, and now they've got enough, another one on the way. And my daughter made a valid point. She said he shouldn't be punished because he's not having other children. And I said, no, he shouldn't be punished for that. And I don't believe that that the people the court when they make these decisions and they say it's best it's best interest. okay guys i don't know where i left off my mother just called and when she calls it interrupts my phone we'll see how many times i forgot to put it on do not disturb again and i don't think i can do that via my watch but i'm going to try we'll see um anyway um my mother just called today it was a good call I, I never know when to answer the phone if it's going to be good or bad but uh that was a good call she sounds real good Happy to say. Um, anyway, she doesn't like where she's at, but I don't think that's ever going to change. I wouldn't either. Told my kids this morning, should anything happen that we have to go live elsewhere, um, don't get rid of, don't get rid of my house until I'm gone. So turn it into a better bed and breakfast or something, so that in the summertime the kids could utilize the backyard because that. Um, would be a good renting point too. She just said, don't, don't get rid of it when I'm here. Wait till I'm gone. Then a little while, my husband says, why would we even be talking about something like that? I said, well, I can understand where my mom's coming from. She's lost, you know, she's not in her home anymore and everything is familiar to her. Anyway, back on the subject of my daughter. 
I want anybody to understand that I am not against equal placement anything. Um, I come from a divorced family, and I personally believe it is absolutely imperative that both parents participate, especially kids struggle. Divorce, I don't care what anybody says. They say, oh, I got two sets of grandparents or four sets or two sets of parents, whatever. I don't care what anybody says. I've been there and been in those shoes. And I don't. I can't ever paint a picture where it's pretty, unless of course it's a, like abuse or something like that. But typically, both parents need to be involved. But this parent, my ex son-in-law, has never been involved, and he's on a mission now. And I told my daughter I knew he was up to something because all of a sudden he started showing up to school, just things that doing things that he never would have done. Um, and I, I guarantee that his fiance is really driving for this. Um, and cause he, every time they go to a sports event or anything, even today, when after he filed already, they went to some class this morning and she showed up with the kids. It isn't that he wants more time with the kids cause he'd rather be doing anything football there. If there's a game on or going to, or anything. He is, without going on and on about him, he's the kind of person that it isn't for him, and I know that because he's never been involved, even when they were still married, anything. He's never been involved. He said he had kids way too early. Anyway, she can't have them, so I think she, but she always tries to overstep her boundaries. And when my daughter's around and they go to a function and she shows up, and, and whatever, she always pretends that she's the kid's mom right in front of my daughter. When they'll ask you, what, you know, things, it's unbelievable. I think she, I think she's got a loose screw or something because I don't know why anybody would do that and think that was okay, but she does. She pretends that she's the mom and tells people, you know, and then she'll just things that, that in front of my daughter, I think are totally, totally out of, out of, out of her boundaries and out of her mind to do that. I try and think, my husband, my, I think, try and think when my kids, I mean, anybody trying to take over my children, um, I'd probably be sitting in jail. I, I just can't even imagine what my daughter's going through. But anyway, what I was saying is the kids are have, have a really hard time. And one of the reasons that the, her little girl doesn't have such a rough time because the, the girl, the, the fiance, is really, really good to them. She loves them and she's good to them, which is good. Um, and she does all sorts of really fun, girly little things with Charlie because Charlie's into just doing makeup and nails and all that. So she's really good with her. Um, it's the boy that we're concerned about because he's the one that after all this time, he still has not adjusted. And my concern is when the baby comes. Now, they shouldn't be denied. It, you know, they shouldn't have to be uh, punished or whatever because they're not, they don't have more children. However, again, they don't, the court doesn't care really about the parent. They care about what's in the best interest of the child. And they're adapting and things like that. And my daughter's tried to take them to, to a, I guess, a therapist of some sort. Um, uh, but they said they're too young yet. But um, my grandson should not be crying like this after three and a half years. Anyway, give me your opinions on that. And again, I know there'll be you, there will be those of you that are on the on, on the side that he is on, and there'll be your, those of you that may have gone through the same thing my daughter has. Um, again, I don't want you to take this wrong. I think every parent has the right to. I don't believe in divorce in the first place, so that was the first mistake. Um, I remember when they found out they were having trouble, and they told my daughter, get home and make your marriage work. You don't just walk away. Well, at that time, I didn't know what kind of trouble she was having. So then I said, get an attorney and get out. Um, but I still don't believe in it. I think the kids ultimately paid the price. But... Guys, this is, I'm going to do, this is a light lilac pant, and I'm just going to do a little bit. Um, 
I can't do a whole lot of lace when they're this size. The only time I can do the really, really full butt is when they're um, two feet. Uh, I just, they have to be bigger. I can't fill them. I can't fill them up when they're this small. So I'm only going to go one row on her. Oh, there goes my gun. Pulling out the big gun. I ordered online this morning. I found there's a there's a place online that I go and I love their shirts because they're 100 percent cotton. I mean I just love them. So I order I ordered them all there. And I found all this lace and um ribbon, this type type of thing. So I ordered a ton of it and tool, and I found gathered tool, um, but it comes from China, and it sends you a thing that says, uh, extend delivery, and I thought, well, what do they mean extend delivery? The stuff usually takes a month, two months. It takes forever to get here. I forget that it's coming in. The thing is, is I order so much so often of anything, but I mean, you get any, I love buying that stuff. But anyway, um, so by the time it starts coming in, I always have a, I always have stuff coming in because I order stuff at all sorts of different times. And so I never remember what I order. Um, the other day, I can't remember what, now I can't even remember what did come in. I opened the pack and I'm like, when did I order this? So it must have been sitting there for a couple months. But uh, somebody had asked, do I trust those sites? For their the, this lace and things like that absolutely um, especially for crafting now you might not I can't I don't have the ability to test how any of this stuff holds up in the wash or anything like that so I'm just saying for crafting yes that is not what it's made for I mean it's not like it's in the craft it's in the um, it's in the sewing fabric part like a search in Amazon um, but for me for crafting that stuff is is awesome I love it and I've not run into a problem yet that's where I get all my little tiny mini lights which I was going to be making centerpieces with mini lights in them and or wrap the piece up just to make it really stand out and I haven't done it yet <laughs> so maybe I'll do that I've got to do a a bride and groom of Minnie and Mickey. So maybe I'll do it then. And I'm not going to do the puff balls on her hair because she's too small. So, um, and, but I am going to find some purple bow. So let me see if I have some right here on my clip it up. Oh my gosh, guys. I should have looked first to see because I do have these clip it ups. They're awesome. If anybody ever asked where I got them, just put um, clip it up in a Google search. It'll bring whoever still sells them. I think there's a good possibility they're maybe no longer make them. When I got them, they were they were going to no longer be available. Um, so I think I got lucky that I got the last three. And they might be at some other place. Maybe this place just wasn't going to carry them anymore. What I'm looking for in here is some little purple bows, and they're not on that one. So they're probably on the other one over there. So I'll do the bows last. And I got some flowers out. Now, let me do a pink one. I grunt and grunt like an old lady. Oh, I am all old. I forgot. All of a sudden, it came back to me. I grunt like an old lady because I am one. Age is nothing but a number, guys. Just so you know. You know, some are higher numbers than others, but still just a number. That's what somebody, I always say, I always say that, and I never, because my daughter used to say that to me. And when she was growing up or something, I don't remember why she ever used that saying, but she did. And so I went somewhere the other day, I don't remember where it was and ran into some old friends of ours and we got talking about age and 
this guy says, oh, age is nothing but a number. And I'm thinking, that's the first time I've ever heard, of it, heard anybody say that. So I thought it was my daughter's saying. So apparently it wasn't. Here I was giving her all this credit. Yeah, hey, girl, you sharp. But it wasn't. Somebody else said it, and I'm sure they didn't hear it from her. Now, I'm going to need to put something right here. Ah. I'm not going to go through that right now. I think what I'll do for the other things that I'm going to put on them, I think there's something right here. I see something that I'm going to use. Let's see if I got some more. Ooh, I do. I do, I do, I do. My pegboard here. I love, I love it. However, I can't see half of what I have because it all of these hang on the same they all hang on the same pe thing the peg that comes out of the board and one's in front of the other and I got to take them all down to see what I have <laughs> I told my daughter this morning I said Dan you need to come over here and start clearing some of this stuff out because when I go out and I replenish I need to replenish for Jenna and I need to replenish for Amy Bowl. and so whenever I do that and, and I don't go over there and take it or they don't stop by or whatever. I can't stand things sitting out. So I put it away. Next thing you know, I just have tons of stuff. Oh, these are the ones I wanted right here. I just opened the wrong pack, guys. Okay. Come on. Well, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to put the pink lace on. They're all going to be different colors, um, different lace. I'm trying to do them all different lace. We'll see how that works for me. Um, and I will get the lace put up on all of them. And then I will post some pictures. And then the next one I'm going to be doing is the LOL. Um, it's Honey... No. Oh, my God. I can't remember her name now. Something B. Something B. I don't know. Um, but I'll be doing that next. And then I am going to be doing circus. I've got them all pieces all printed out and ready to go. So I will try and get as much done as I can and film what I can and won't film when I can't. How do you like that? So go ahead and, and give me your opinions and chew me out if you want. I handle it. I'm a big girl. Oh. <laughs> A big girl with a button that she keeps forgetting she's got. Okay.